welcome friends welcome to the knowledge club online today i am going to discuss about the coat protein coat protein is a very useful means for the protein transportation or protein translocation after the protein synthesis or translation coat protein is a protein complex that is a constituent of the capsid of a virus or coats vesicles transporting proteins variable surface glycoproteins or proglycines surface coat proteins of either the blood stream form or the procyclic form of the parasite trypanosoma brucei mainly there are three types of coat proteins at first the capsid for the viral coat protein then the cop1 cop1 is a, a type of vesicle coat protein that transport proteins from the cis end of the golgi complex back to the rough endoplasmic reticulum and at last the cop2 cop2 is a type of vesicle coat protein that transport proteins from the rough endoplasmic reticulum to the golgi apparatus i am going to discuss in detail of this three coat proteins first uh, we will get knowledge uh, from the viral coat protein viral coat protein means capsid a component of the capsid a capsid is the protein shell of a virus it consists of several oligomeric structural subunits made of protein called protomers the observable three dimensional morphological subunits which may or may not correspond to individual proteins are called capsomers the capsid encloses the genetic material of the virus capsids are broadly classified according to, to their structure the majority of viruses have capsids with either helical or icosacral sacral structure some viruses such as bacteriophages have developed more complicated structures due to constraints of elasticity and electrostatics the icosahedral shape which has a 20 equilateral triangular faces approximates a sphere while the helical shape is cylindrical the capsid faces may consist of one or more proteins for example the foot and mouth disease virus capsid has faces consisting of three proteins named viral protein 1 to 3 or pp 1 to 3 some viruses are enveloped meaning that the capsid is coated with a lipid membrane known as the viral envelope the envelope is acquired by the capsid from an intracellular membrane in the virus host examples include the inner nuclear membrane the golgi membrane and the cells outer membrane once the virus has infected the cell it will start replicating itself using the mechanisms of infected host cell during this process new capsid subunits are synthesized according to the general genetic material of the virus using the protein biosynthesis mechanism of the cell During the assembly process, a portal subunit is assembled at one vertex of the capsid. Through this portal, viral DNA or RNA is transported into the capsid. Structural analysis of major capsid proteins architectures have been used to categorize viruses into families. For example, the bacteriophage PRD1, Paramecium. borsari corella corre sorry corella algal virus and mammalian adenovirus have been placed in the same family 
Next, I am going to the topic of POP1. POP1 are type of vesicle coat protein that transport proteins from the cis end of the Golgi complex back to the rough endoplasmic reticulum where they were originally synthesized and between Golgi compartments. This type of transport is termed as retrograde transport. In contrast to the anterograde transport associated with the COP2 protein. The name COP1 refers to the specific coat protein complex that initiates the budding process on the cis Golgi membrane, not at the endoplasmic reticulum. The coat consists of large protein subcomplexes that are made of seven different protein subunits. Coat protein or COP1 is an ADP ribosylation factor dependent adapter protein involved in a membrane tract. COP1 was first identified in a retrograde traffic from the cis Golgi to the rough endoplasmic reticulum and is the most extensively studied of ARF dependent adapters. COP1 consists of seven subunits which compose the heptameric protein complex. The primary function of adapters is the selection of carboproteins for their incorporation into nascent carriers. In the case of the adapter COP1, cargo containing the shorting motif KKXX interacts with COP1 to form carriers which are transported from the cis Golgi to the rough ear. Ear means reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum. Current views suggest that ARS are also involved in the selection of carbo for incorporation into carriers. Now we have come to the budding process of the COP1. ADP ribosylation factors is a GTPs involved in the membrane traffic. There are six mammalian ARS which are regulated by over 30 GEFs and GAPs. GRF is post translationally modified at the end terminus by the addition of the fatty acid myristate. ARF cycles between GTP and GDP bound conformations. In the GTP bound form, ARF conformation changes such that the myristate and hydrophobic end terminal become more exposed and associated with the membrane. The interconversion between GTP and GDP bound states is mediated by ARF guanine nucleotide exchange factors GES and ARF GTPs activating proteins gaps. At the membrane, ARF GTP is hydrolyzed to the ARF GDP by ARF GAPs or gaps. Once in the GDP bound conformation, ARF converts to a less hydrophobic conformation and it dissociates from the membrane. Soluble ARF GDP is converted back to ARF GTP by GEFs. Mainly in the luminal proteins or membrane proteins, the COP1 is found at first when coat proteins assemble at the membrane, they force the lipid bilayer to begin to bend. Secondly, as they gather at the membrane, coat proteins may also select the cargo that is packaged into the forming vesicle. As more coat proteins are added, they shape the surrounding membrane into a sphere. And at last, once a coated vesicle pitches off, the coat falls off and the cargo filled vesicle is ready to travel to its destination. Next, we come to the COP2. COP2 a type of vesicle coat protein that transport proteins from the rough endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi apparatus. 
This process is termed the enterograde transport in contrast to the retrograde transport associated with the COP1 protein. The name COP2 refers to the specific core protein complex that initiates the budding process. The coat consists of large protein subcomplexes that are made of four different protein subnets. What is this COP2 coat proteins? There are mainly two protein heterodimers that form the coat complex. These proteins are SEC23P, SEC24P heterodimer and SEC13P. Set 31B heterotractamide. These proteins alone are not able to cause the budding of the vesicle or direct the vesicle to the correct target membrane. Snare, cargo, and other proteins are also needed for this process to occur. The COP2 protein does, however, cause the budding that forms vesicle coat and thereby causes the release from the ear. The exact process of how the vesicle is brought, then it's uh, the budding process. In the budding process, the GTPs serve one P is a protein that hydrolyzes GTP and acts like a molecular switch that flips between the unactivated and membrane embedded GTP bound form and inactivate inactive and soluble GTP bound form. Inactive GTP bound SAR1P is attracted to the cytosolic side of the endoplasmic reticulum. Set 12 a transmembrane protein found in the ear acts as a guanine nucleotide exchange factor by stimulating the release of GTP to allow the binding of GTP. Now, in a GTP bound state, SAR1P undergoes a conformational change which exposes a hydrophobic tail that can be inserted into the lipid bilayer, binding it to the membrane. Once SAR1P is bound to the membrane, the core protein complexes set 23P, 24P, and set 13P and 31P bind to the membrane sequentially. These proteins simultaneously contact SAR1P and carboproteins destined for the cis Golgi membrane. The set 20P, 24P, set 13P, 31P, SAR1P complex then coalesces to form a much larger complex. This network deforms the membrane enough to bud a vesicle of. Maybe this is a this will be helpful to you. Thank you.